Yeah, we are on Carver Road, heading to a uh, National Monument, and that's George Washington Carver National Monument. And this is special to Cake and I because this is a namesake of the high school that we both went to. In case you guys didn't know, we were high school sweethearts. <laughs> Cake said went to and graduated. I didn't graduate, I was gradually waiting. <laughs> the good thing about it is we've been here before and we love it. Uh, we should have bought some lunch with us today. We didn't bring no lunch. But when we were in high school, what we knew about George Washington Carver was he was a peanut farmer. And I don't know if he did not teach us enough or did <laughs> we was just not paying attention enough. <laughs> because when we came here, we learned so much more about the man. So we're gonna take you in here and uh, show you some of the sights and some of the things about George Washington Carver National Monument. It's one of them that we, personally like and say that yeah baby that's it say that you should not pass up there the sign hold on i'm gonna slow down and get it sign on on video there the sign george washington carver national monument national park service close at 5 p.m it's here in diamond like the ring the sparkly stuff diamond missouri and you can look the grounds are nice here we are you know we gotta go. Oh, there it is. Right here. <laughs> like always. This sculpture says, right road. How can I be sure that I'm on the right road? In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Now you must learn to look to him for direction and then follow and you will never go wrong. George Washington Carver, March 1939. Okay, we right. speaking you. to the ranger, we go ahead and watch the video now, and I'm gonna turn this off because if you wanna see the video, you gotta come visit it. <laughs> <laughs> but look at this. in the uh, exhibit of George Washington Carver. It's pretty big, pretty huge. Uh, we're not gonna bring in everything, but this is something that is extremely, extremely interesting. Of course, like I said, we love it. We went to George Washington Carver High School. There's Frederick Douglass. In what? I was saying there was Frederick Douglass in there, the picture that you took. So Carver, the scientist, most of the things I do are I do are just cookery. These are not my products. God put them here and I found them. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How far you go in life depends on your being tender with the young, compassionate with the age, sympathetic with the star of striving, and tolerant of the weak and strong, because someday in life you will have been all of these. And what is this cake? One of the classroom at the National Monument where they teach students that come here on field trips. burial site is not where George Washington Carver was buried, but this is was his family buried. It's pretty well kept. Last time Cake and I were here, it was not looking well. It's where Susan Carver and Moses Carver, the people who raised George, are buried along with 
some of their neighbors that they allow to use it. And some of the graves are unmarked. But the National Park Service rebuilt this wall because initially it was built to keep the animals out from disturbing the grave. But they've done a very good job at rebuilding the wall and maintaining this burial site. I'm standing in Carver's house, which could have been the kitchen of the Carver's house. This house was built in 1881 after George Washington Carver left home to pursue his education in Kansas. So it could be the kitchen because some kitchen items. Look that it is. This house was built because they had a log cabin house and it was destroyed by a tornado, may have been destroyed by a tornado back in 1880. So they built another house and George Washington Carver never lived in this house. So now I'm in the living room part of the house and look who I find. George Washington Carver himself. Rock in the way. I'm glad you can visit my would have been childhood home. But I was off pursuing my education when my parents rebuilt this house after it was destroyed by a tornado. Did you tell them about it was destroyed by a tornado, Ms. Marietta? I Marietta? told them it was destroyed by a tornado in this area and that you were in Kansas pursuing your education. Yeah. Thank you, George. Yeah. Washington Carver. You're welcome. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They actually have questions on me on who knew. Look at Cake over there. Trying to get a photograph of a turtle on a tree log, tree stump, whatever it is. She said the kind of stuff you only see in photographs. She's trying to get it before the turtle jump off into the pond. Did you get it? Yeah. This camera may not pick it up. Look, his leg moving slow. 